Hello everyone and welcome to my channel 3D Sessions. Today we are going to make hand cart or a wagon in Blender 3.4. If you are interested, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like these. So let's start modeling. First we will make the base of the card and that we will make with the default cube only. Select the cube, press tab for the edit mode, scale it to Z axis as Z and make it small. Now scale it to X axis as X and make it small. And now scale to Y axis as Y and scale it big little we make little thin yeah this is fine now we'll copy this one shift d and move go to top view move it now again shift d and move this one Now select all three and Ctrl J to join them. Now go to modifier tab and select the mirror and now we have the base. Now we want only one plank from this. Select this one. Go to edit mode by pressing tab and select only one plank press L to select that and copy that shift D and now we will separate from the base to separate press P and selection now we have the separate planks so here we don't want the mirror modifier so cancel that so now we have only one plank from this we will make the side of the card so go to left view now turn this to x axis r x 90 and now r z 90 now move it scale it to z axis and make it small f z go to top view and we'll adjust that now origin is in the side so let's set on the object right click set origin and origin to geometry now our origin on the object only so now set this one select this press tab So Alt Z for the transparent view. Go to top view and copy this Shift D one more time and again Shift D and one more time. I feel it's very high. Select all and Ctrl J to join. Now press tab and Alt side for the transparent view. Go to front and make it little small. Yes, this is fine. Now again we want one plan. So how we copied before? The same way we will copy this one. So now we have this plank. Let's set the origin. Rotate it to Y axis. R Y 90. Move. Now go to left. So we go to front. Make it little slant. And adjust here. Shift 
shape D and copy select both and shift D I think this one is not required delete that and adjust this one we'll keep little bit gap I feel these planks are too thick so select those tab and make it thin now this is fine Select all and make it little small. Now select all and control J to join them. Again all select all this and control J to join them and we'll apply the mirror modifier. Select the mirror. Select this object and now we have both the side. Now we have this plank which is copied from this like the previous one. Go to top view and rotate it to Z axis R Z90 and set the origin sorry right click set origin and origin to geometry scale it to x axis sx Now this is a medieval card so we will make it little uneven so select this press tab and add edge loops control R here also go to vertex mode select random vertices Now it looks uneven. Now for the base also, press tab and add edge loops. This one also looks little uneven. Now let's separate this horizontal and vertical planks. So press 3 for the face more and press L to select that. Press P and selection. Now we have this separate. Press tab and add edge loops. Now this is fine. Don't forget to save it. Now let's create the screw. Shift A, mesh and UV sphere. Make the segment 4 and rings 3. 
select that press tab x-ray mode alt side press 3 and select these faces press x and delete now we have the screw scale it down rotate it and edges shift D bring it down shift D and bring it down Control J to join them shift D and move here adjust this one little bit then copy this one shift D adjust this one bring it front now select all and control J to join them all and now we will apply the mirror modifier and select the base so we have the screw with the sides now select this plank and copy that shift D and move it to back top view rotate it to Rx90 and move it scale it to x axis sx and make it little small now let's create the wheel shift a mesh and cylinder make it vertices 10 Rotate it to RY90, scale it to X axis, SX, and make it thin. Now press tab, press 3 for the face mode, and select the front and back both faces and press I and insert it little bit now press X and faces to delete those now press 2 for the edge mode and select these edges and press bridge bridge edge loops Now select this and copy that shift D and scale it to small S and make it small and now we will fill this one press tab for the edit mode press X and delete those faces select this sorry press 2 and select the edge loops and press F to fill so we need the thickness same press S and X now take the cylinder shift A mesh and cylinder scale it small go to top view adjust here now scale it to z axis s and z
Now select this one, copy that shift D and rotate it to 120 degree R X 120. Again copy this shift D and rotate it to 120 degree R X 120. Now make it big. Now we will create the support of the wheel. For that we will add the cylinder shift A, mesh and cylinder. Scale it small. Rotate it to Y axis R Y 90 and scale it to S axis S X and make it big. Now select the support, press tab for the edit mode and add the one edge loop, Control R. Now the X-ray mode, select this vertices, press X and delete those. Now press tab for the object mode. Now we'll add the mirror modifier, select the object base now you can see the gap here to fix that check the clipping press tab and move that so now we have no gap here select the y axis also so at the back also we get the support now let's mirror the wheel select all components of the wheel Control j to join them add the mirror modifier select the object base and now back side also we want wheels so press y so now all four wheels we have for this support we will give two more supports here let's copy this only shift d delete the mirror modifier here set the origin to geometry here it is open so let's fill this one now Rotate it to RY90. Scale it to Z axis and make it small. Select this and this support. Control L and copy modifiers. So now we have four supports. Select this one, press tab and we will we will make this little uneven. We will add one more thing in the wheel. So go to front view, shift A, mesh and cylinder. Rotate it to Y axis, R, Y, 9, 0. Scale it down, smaller than the support. And now scale it to X axis, S, X and This one is fine. Select this and add the modifier. Now 
now we'll add the screw here shift a shift a mesh and uh, cylinder make it small and scale it to z axis press tab and select this below vertices and scale it down and now select the top one press e and scale it big now select the screw and then select the wheel and press L copy modifiers so now in all wheels we have the screws now this is a hand cart so we will add two supports to hold the cart in the front shift A mesh and cylinder rotate it to RX90 scale it down and now scale big to y axis s y now this is fine press tab for the edit mode and control r and add the edge loops Select the edge loop and make it uneven. So now this is fine. Let's make it little thin. Select this and we'll add the mirror modifier. Now press O for the proportional editing. Press G and make the circle big and move this down. rod will touch the, to the plane now shift a mesh and plane Now let's set the camera, press 0, click on the camera frame, now press N, go to view and click on the camera to view. Now we'll set the angle. This is fine for me. Now uncheck the camera to view. Press N again. Now our camera is set. Now let's set the light. Click on this default light and click on this light and we will make it sun. Now press Z and render. Strength is very high. Make it 10. Now let's change the color to little bit yellow. Strength is still high.
this is fine for me now let's give material to the card select the side planks go to material tab go to base color hex and enter the hex code so i want this color now select the wheel add material select this plank select this and control l link material now select the screw add new material give a name metal go to base color hex and enter the code reduce the roughness to 0.02 now this one i feel this is too dark so select that go to base color and now select this nail and add new material and it's a black metal give a name black metal go to base color and give a code reduce the roughness 0.02 now we will give texture to the plane select the plane enter the name bg open the another view go to shader editor press n now add the texture shift a and texture and image texture copy this shift d again copy this shift d now click on the open and here it's a texture uh, add the albedo open image color to the base color connect it now here open again select the roughness color to the roughness now open here again texture and click on the normal here we will add the normal map shift a and normal map so color to the color and normal to the normal here it looks very big stick and stone so we'll make it small but first of all go to uv editor select the albedo now select this tab press u and unwrap so now here we'll turn off this grid uncheck the floor now we can see it nicely stick and stone looks very big so we'll add the mapping so now again go to shader editor shift a and search for the mapping add here and texture coordinate shift a search and this is texture coordinate now general to vector and this vector to vector here also connect it and here connect this now we will scale it 
so x make it 4 and y also make it 4 if we change the z it will not work so we'll change only x and y so now i think the size is perfect now let's go to now i feel this is good close this tab join area i set the sun here here we were good to change this thing so select this go to solid view shift d p and selection so now this will be the metal part of the ring so make the wheel little bit small and this one make it small by x axis as x material view and we'll give the color same as this one control l and print material now let's set the rendering go to rendering tab select the cycles make the max samples 700 click the denoise and now let's render go to render tab and render image so once rendering it is done i will be back now our render is done and let's save the image go to image save as and you can save png or jpg give the name render.jpg and save as